Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for Let's Play Super Metroid with Draco Thuban? Alright, I'm back. And it's time to head back into Meridia and finish up our item collection here. Thankfully, we don't have to wait for this guy to uh, bust down the walls or bomb through it again. So anyway, let's find there's where that gravity point is right there. Um, and there's a good thing about the uh, the spring ball that I just got. I, I, last episode I said it is pretty worthless, and it is. Um, you don't need it for anything. Um, and it really doesn't come in handy in too many places, but I'll show you the one place that it does in the, uh, the next area um, that I go through. Um, the next sand pit type area that I go through. Um, but that's not going to be for a minute. Um, first we got to go up here and, and collect a an item or two. Not the pneumatic tube of doom. No, not really. Just another door. So now you've got a choice whenever you're traveling uh, vertical. You can use the space jump or the wall jump, whichever. Now we could uh, have easily gotten in here earlier or gotten up to this door earlier with the uh, the wall jump. However, we couldn't have gotten into the door because uh, it only opens up once you defeat Dragon. So. Yeah, it would have been pretty pointless. But it's a, a good accomplishment. I, I did it, I, I thought, for a second uh, at one point um, during my Metroid playing career that, uh, you know, hey, it'd be a pretty good idea if I had the plasma beam against Dragon. Uh, or, you know, at least early uh, throughout the, uh, the Meridia level. And... Uh, so let's why don't we try that out, but uh, no, no, it doesn't work, so. Oh well, I was disappointed. I managed to wall jump all the way up there. Didn't quite get it right, so. Anywho, now we get the plasma beam. Tears through everything, except for bosses. And does a good number on them, too, so. But anyway, uh, we need the plasma beam to go ahead and defeat these guys, and we have to defeat all of them in order to move onward and upward, or at least just back out of this place. So, destroy them and come back out of here. Alright. And we're going to head back, and uh, we're going to go through the uh, area that I was talking about before. That, uh... I told you we were going to come out of that flashing door uh, back with all the Moxroids. That's where we're headed now, but I don't think this is this is not the door, so we got to go the other way. Sorry about that. That'll actually take you back to the wrecked ship-ish uh, area, so we don't want to go that way. Instead, we want to go down here and to the right. This is the right area. I should have done that. Now watch out for those claws, because if they grab you, they can put you down into a uh, different area as well, and, and that can't be good. And an invisible thorn hit me. Great, great, great. Okay. Alright, we can go through this area, um, oops, by uh, doing our lovely uh, space jump. Don't want to take too much damage. I know I've got like, like 1200, 1300 health or something like that. However much I got. No, I got tons, but uh, don't want to risk anything. All right, let's see if I got enough speed. No, I don't. Okay. Well, let's get enough speed. How about that? All right. Speed booster, and down, and now watch. Remember I was having trouble killing these guys last time? Watch what the plasma does to these guys. Murder! Murder! One hit, done. All right. Get the hell out of this place and get more items. What do you say? I'm looking good on items at this point, actually. I think we're, uh, I think we're on track. Throwing the crap out of the floor here and head on over to the second of two quicksand pits. 
Nothing hits me. All right, I only got to go one way this time. Um, now the uh, the the thing that the uh, jump ball is good for is those gravity blocks. If you know what you're doing, you can't fall through them anymore. If you hold jump while you're in ball form, you will never fall through the gravity blocks. All you do is keep on jumping. Pretty easy, huh? But you gotta hold jump. You can't just try to jump every time, otherwise you might just fall through. Now that's gonna come in handy uh, in another place if I mess it up, so. It took me a long time to figure out that trick. Uh, all right, get that uh, reserve tank and a missile. And was that my last reserve tank? No, I got one more to get. Okay, where is that? Don't remember where that one is, but I'm sure I will. All right. Very small space on the on the left handish side. Um, it's not completely over on the left hand side, so don't go all the way to the edge and expect to fall through. But. And then you're going to want to keep on moving to the left. And guess what, everybody? We are done with Meridia. Uh, let me do a quick map check here. I just want to be pretty sure that we got it all. Looks like it. I think we got everything. Okay. Um, so anyway, we're going to fall through this hole. Um, the other way it leads you to that green gate, which you're not going to be able to get through unless you know the trick. Which I do, I just can't do it, right? Um, but we don't want to go that way anyway, because uh, it's quicker this way, and we can hit this green gate, and drop right through this uh, hole coming up here. Bam! See, you can go right up there into uh, Meridia, but you can't get through the gate, so it's uh, worthless. So anywho, now, we've got the space jump. And now, it is time to go to Lower Norfair. Now that we're done with Meridia. Long elevator. Alright. We're going to go back into this room now that we've got the uh, speed booster. And uh, we're going to break open these blocks here and head this way. This is the way you normally go to get to uh, Krokmire, uh in the first place. But like I said before, now you want to fire as soon as you get, whoops, now see I messed that up. Okay, now this is where the, uh, like I said, the jump ball comes in handy. Because I fell all the way down, that really sucked. But you can use the jump ball to work your way back up these ledges here to get where you need to go. Okay, so anyway, where you want to go is right there. You want to shoot that. A lot of times it's possible to go ahead and if you get that running start and shoot as soon as you fire through the door, you can grab that. I just didn't make it that time, so that's what you got to do. You got to get that set of missiles there. That's a very well, very well hidden set of missiles. Anyway, you're going to run through this part here. Um, we've already explored the other areas here, so we're just going to go ahead and move on forward. Alrighty. Alright, now here's a trick I want to show you. If you pause and then connect yourself to the device, uh, you can actually get through the room quicker. So, let's try that. You pause, and when you unpause, you can actually move on without having the uh, display. So, how about that? Gets you done a little quicker. Let me go ahead and space jump through this room. gate and then we're gonna fall down to the bottom here and blow open this orange door and that leads us to the big lava room ow okay you don't hit those blue beams there they, they kind of hurt anyway you're gonna jump into the big head statue and this is our uh, entrance to lower Norfair. and uh, that's it for this episode everybody Thank you for watching. Let's pl let's play Super Metroid 100% speed run with uh, your host Draco Thuban, and I'm gonna be right back because I'm just gonna save this one and start on the next one. Alrighty, I'll see you soon.